completed skills. But in the end of our reports, taking a behind-the-scenes look at the most public of jobs, we go on the buses and talk to the men and women at the South Wigston depot of Midland Fox, one of Leicester's biggest operators. Card sums two, I please. 41 hours, please. Driver Granger, dispatch, please. Driver Granger. We don't get up so early now as what we used to. I mean, yet we used to start at half past three and four o'clock. But now the first starts now, usually five o'clock. Most people, when they're driving a car, they get wound up. So if you're on top of that, driving sort of ten hours a day, plus you're not with passenger complaints, you know. It's, um, the driver gets it all the time. Can I get on now? Of course you're coming up. Hey. Right. Is it usual? <laughs> I normally have a sing song while I'm on the air, but I'm not going to bother today. <laughs> What, what about the passengers? Do you think they appreciate what you're doing? No, not really. <laughs> then you you get some, you know, you get a lot of good passengers, but uh, there's a lot that uh, make your job very hard. You get to know your passengers quite well. A lot of them you know by name, and uh, they, they treat you quite well. You don't have any problems. You don't want to a little bit of hassle at night with a few that's had too many to drink. <laughs> Wigston Dispatch. Ivan, Alistair at uh, South Gates. Hello, can I help you? Well, not at the moment, because I've had two breakdowns this morning, and I've also got another bus change on at the moment. But I'll have a look for you, see if I can help you out. I'll check the sheet, see if there's anything we can get for you. And they want it for 12. Yeah, they want it for 12. It's going to be a bit iffy. Uh, we might be able to play around with that one. Yeah, that's if we've got a bus to fetch it off with because we're a bit short on the deckers at the moment. Do you want to ring the engineers, ask them if there's likely to be one off the pits um, that we could transfer that with? Each vehicle is inspected every two weeks. They have what they call safety checks, they have immediate, intermediate services, and they also have their annual uh, PSP, which is like a car MOT but they looked at every two weeks, or 26 times a year, a bus is inspected. Where the engine, the main engine components are. Have to lift the floors to check the pump couplings, pipes, any leaks, oil leaks, air leaks. Wiring chafing, pipes chafing. How long have you been doing this job as a tyre cutter? Around about 30 years. Do you enjoy doing that? Well, this garage is virtually been my home for all them years. And I suppose I look after them as though they belong to me, really. How much money does the uh, does the, the tyre recutting save the company, do you reckon? I would say something like probably £120. Pounds. Can I have your second-hand engine will fit it? You just don't know. Because these originally were uh, thrown into a field. Yeah. And left there for what? One and a half years? Yeah. Like, something like 18 months, weren't they? Yeah. Ex London transport buses. Uh, you don't know what's been done to them before we got them. What we try to do here is, in the purchase of buses, buy them at a, a less age than the ones that we're getting rid of, and therefore you reduce the age profile of your vehicle. And you try and keep a mixture, some new some middle-aged and some old, and that is the most economical way to do it. I couldn't, for argument's sake, go out and replace my fleet with new vehicles. I would need something like six to seven million pounds a day. Half to Welford Road, police station. 29, please, love. Carolyn Park Road, please. 29, please, love. 60, please, please. Hello, love. You are. Yeah, knocked off early again, have you? I've been knocked off since I first drove today. It's lovely. Thanks a lot. They did break down once, not long after I started on this job, and uh, I forgot to clear the bus completely. So they brought me a bus change downtown, and uh, they towed the other one back to South Wigston. 
I need to find that there was still a load of Chinese people upstairs. Two boosts. Or 14 boosts. Do you think um, ordinary drivers appreciate your job? Uh, some do, some don't. And cyclists? Uh, cyclists. Well, obviously we have to give them. We have to give give them plenty of room because it's their emotions and centres for the reason. Causes a lot of problems, but so it's moving a lot slower than we are. And, uh, so you have to give way. And if it's tra the traffic won't let you out. Uh, there's a lot of courtesy going out after the wind of these days. A good day, bad day. I've got about 104 school kids on one bus, but yeah, it's been a good day. Let's drive you by. Now you just uh, close your ears. So much silly. Look, if you're out of traffic, it's a good day. If you're in the traffic all the time, <laughs> you know you've been working. All sign up for another day. Okay. Then home, home. 54, 74, 54, 74. Have you found it? Yeah. We used to go and join it when we had a conductor. Because there were two of you. You know, you one out the other. But now you're on your own and you finish up talking to yourself sometimes. <laughs> it's not the sort of job that you perhaps dream of being when you're at school, but uh, it's not a bad job, yeah. Buses are capable of carrying far more people than they currently do. But despite that, new standards need to be set. And Midland Fox are facing up to this challenge, aiming to provide a more reliable, economical, safer and environmentally sound alternative to the car. Good morning, Midland Fox Group. Can I help you? The bus is not being used as it should, perhaps because people are unaware of the many benefits of this form of travel. Midland Fox are constantly examining ways in which the customer can be better informed about the range and regularity of their products and services. A new charter will further enhance the dialogue between the company and the customer. It will detail what passengers should expect from Leicestershire's premier bus and coach company. As part of the company's active role in the Environment City programme, a park and ride scheme has been set up at Oadby Racecourse and also at County Hall Glenfield. Obviously this is beneficial to the environment and yet also of great... Midland Fox are acquiring a new flexibility in all their operations. They recognise the importance of working with local businesses Already, the setting up of the Marks and Spencer's shuttle service has proved productive for the Foss Park store. We are now serving customers who previously had no other means of visiting Foss Park shopping centre. This Midland Fox bus service has also meant that we can make better use of our car parking facility in Foss Park. Whether a shop, an educational centre or a tourist attraction, there'll be a way in which Midland Fox can help your business. Snibston Discovery Park has discovered for itself just how useful a tailored service can be. We've been very grateful for Midland Fox for developing a communication system for us, a transport link which brings people from the county to Snibston. And we look to continuing this relationship with Midland Fox by their shuttle services and other services that they provide by school parties and other group visits into Colville into the future. 
Midland Fox wants businesses to inform them of their thoughts about possible services and to familiarize themselves with the already extensive range of services provided. Everybody, from the business manager to the town planner, is seeing the vital role that buses can play. With the right planning and cooperation, a greater utilization of the bus will mean a cleaner environment, a better use of natural resources, and a source of valuable assistance to local business. Midland Fox will continue to improve the way in which we travel. Buses are becoming important. Midland Fox are running buses so that bus... A well-established public transport company has for many years provided the highest standards of service throughout Leicestershire and the East Midlands. The company is efficient and reliable in its operation. The company is Midland Fox. The history of Midland Fox dates back to the early days of motorised transport around the turn of the century and was known as the Birmingham and Midland Motor Omnibus Company and later Midland Red. In 1981, it became a separate company, Midland Red East, yet still remained part of the National Bus Company. 1984 saw the birth of Midland Fox, and within a year, Fox Cubs, a new concept in public transport, were introduced. These became the largest network of urban minibuses in the UK. The revised legal framework for operating local bus services in 1986, known as deregulation, resulting from the 1985 Transport Act, offered more freedom, opportunities and challenges. Privatisation of Midland Fox soon followed, and growth of the company was rapid and acquisitions were made. In 1989, the Draw Lane Transport Group took over ownership and further acquisitions have followed. Services continued to be developed. Larger minibuses have been introduced, and the luxury Ambassador Royale coaching sector established. As Midland Fox has grown, it has provided employment for an increased number of people from different backgrounds in a rewarding and vital area of work within the community. The range and number of vehicles have increased too, and their operational area has grown throughout Leicestershire and the UK. However, Midland Fox still maintains small units and has a local feel. 85% of the business is the provision of local bus services in the cities, towns and villages of Leicestershire and East Midland passenger numbers have increased and every day thousands of people travel to work, do their shopping and visit their friends on the comfortable and enjoyable services that are provided. Well, I find the drivers are very, very helpful, very friendly mm -hmm. and the service is pretty regular, very good. A strong image, as well as specific services, have emerged. Fox Cub is a reliable, frequent and friendly minibus service found throughout Leicester and the region's towns, and it reaches the heart of many estates. Linking Leicestershire's towns and villages are the larger buses under the Midland Fox logo. Leicester Line joins Leicester with surrounding cities and large towns. It's a direct and an economical way to travel. The excellent Foxhound is a special executive coach service for everyone's leisure and pleasure. Each year, it offers over 300 day trips to Britain's most popular tourist attractions. It's also a favourite holiday service for thousands of holidaymakers, taking them to resorts all over the UK. And it's an ideal way to travel to rock concerts and is available for hire too. The Ambassador Royale service is establishing an enviable reputation in providing the very best in UK and continental holidays and short breaks. It's bonded by the Bus and Coach Council and Ambassador Royale agents are in easy reach throughout central and southern England, big transport companies, and has enjoyed considerable success. A dedicated Midland Fox staff who cooperate with each other and the company, and satisfied customers have been fundamental in enabling Midland Fox to maintain its premier position. There's a wide variety of work areas within the company, erecting roadside displays, planning service changes to meet customers' needs, the provision of an information line for up-to-date service news, the latest computer technology is used to process information, around-the-clock maintenance of vehicles, ensuring safety standards are met, reconditioning of engines to make maximum use of resources, the repairing of electronic ticket machines. Midland Fox prints and publishes its own information, and the largest number of staff drive the buses and coaches. Uh, I work for the Express Unit at Midland Fox. 
Uh, we tend the contracts out from Leicester to London and other parts of the country. Supervisors ensure efficient operations are maintained. Well, the role I perform at present is as a duty manager and uh, the importance I see is uh, on a supervisory level. Uh, the supervisor of uh, the men within the company, uh, the garage and on the street. Midland Fox is constantly striving to improve its service to the public who travel with them and customer satisfaction is paramount. Very good service, always regular, always on time and the bus conductors, well the drivers, they're always very friendly. It's cheap, it's convenient because it's on the hour and I find the um, drivers generally friendly. People look to Midland Fox to solve their everyday transport requirements. The company realises and meets these needs in a reliable, efficient manner. However, Midland Fox does not only cater for the general public's individual necessities, but those of large organisations too. From county councils, to hospitals, to individual firms, all use a Midland Fox tailor-made contract service. With operating bases throughout England and Wales, and an enthusiastic workforce, Midland Fox is able to look to the future with high expectations and ambition. The challenges are many. I'm very optimistic for the future, as I know that growing traffic congestion will require planners to help public transport, and particularly the bus. Midland Fox will be at the forefront in developing these new opportunities to secure its future and to improve the environment generally within cities in Leicestershire. I'm managing director of the Midland Fox Group of Companies, which is an important role to make sure that the security of employment and the return to shareholders' funds is achieved over a long period of time. There's a number of future challenges coming up. Um, certainly the economic climate at the moment is making everyone think twice about the investment into vehicles. What we've got to do in Midland Fox is to make sure that we earn enough money in the short term and the medium term to reinvest in vehicles to provide security of employment for everyone and to uh, make sure that we have a long-term future for the company. The car can no longer be seen as a solution, particularly in urban areas, to meet people's mobility needs. It's a very inefficient use of road space, causes considerable environmental pollution and results in congestion. Midland Fox believes it has the solution for less congestion and less pollution, a truly better way to travel. Past experience and present success, a solid future for Fox.